Hello Mappers! Welcome to this tutorial for the Modules Helper 1.3 for Call of Duty World at War. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the Modules Helper to make the effects, sounds, load screen, minimap and your map name IWD with the tool. All in all the program uh, will make 20 files for you um, and overwrite all files in the process. So always make a backup. And you can see I've already opened the launcher and the models helper. Uh, there's a couple of things that we need to do in Radiant first so we can um, make the, everything at once. First of all the, uh, the effects. For the effects I have a script origin and I placed it here on top of this chimney. I want to have some smoke coming out of that chimney and I use the script origin for measuring where I want the effect to be. If I take the modules helper and click the effects tab uh, you can see the origin is placed at a certain position in Radiant in the full map and I can take this position and fill that in on the effects tab. Also I can fill in the effects, uh, the effect path and the effect name that I'm going to use. We have to measure of course every single effect, I've already done that so all these numbers are already in place and so uh, after all this measurement we don't need the script origin anymore and I can delete it. Um, there is uh, something else that we still need to do is we have to make minimap corners. This is to determine where the minimap is going to be and for that we're using a script origin as well. What you have to do under key fill in target name and for value minimap corner. Now the script origin is going to be placed at the corner of the map and on the opposite corner diagonally covering the, uh, the map and uh, roughly at the highest um, uh, level that is uh, the highest building or other structure that you've built in your map. Now this is the map. We can now save it. And that concludes basically all we have to do in Radiant. Um, now we need to compile the map. And we're going to do that in HumanMod 2, in Launcher, Compile BSP, Compile Lights, Reflections, and we can build the fast files. So once that is done, now we can start to make a, a screenshot for the minimap. So uh, we're going to go to the run, run game tab. Under exit type, we choose multiplayer. The mod is human mod 2. There is a gal should be set to 1. Developer should be set to 1 and developer script should be set to 1 and at the custom command line we type in plus dev map space and then your map name after we've done that we can 
run the game. As you can see, no load screen is in, in place. And we're going to go in as a player. And you can see there's also no minimap. Now we're going to open the console by pressing tilde. And we're going to put in the command execute or xc minimap. And that will get rid of everything else. You will see a, a clean screen and no player and no text anymore in our screen. And now we're going to take the screenshot from above. And we do that with um, slash sr uh, scr underscore minimap underscore height. And let's start off with 10,000. Once I give this command, you will end up in this screen looking from your map from above. You will see a white square and above the text this side up. Now what we want to do is make this square as big as possible for our screenshot. So we're going to change those numbers for the minimap height into <coughs> let's say 6000. <coughs> you can still optimize it a little bit and if you're happy with it um, making it as big as possible uh, then you can press F12 making the screenshot. So I press F12 or get rid of the console first and press F12 And then we can just simply escape out. Now we have to look in uh, the documents folder. There's a folder in there called Activision. And within that folder is a folder called um, Screenshots. And I've opened up this picture with uh, Paint.net. It's a free program, free um, image editor. And what you need to do now is um, cut out the picture exactly at the white line and then turn it into a 512 by 512 TGA um, with uh, 24 bits and compressed hourly. Um, it needs to be placed once you're finished with it. I just added it a little bit to it. Uh, once you've finished with it, um, you can place it in the raw image folder, giving the name Compass Map MP your map name. And for the load screen, I prepared one as well. This needs to be a TGA as well, also 24 bits and compress hourly. And it needs to also be placed in the image folder, raw image folder. And the name should be load screen underscore MP or map, map name. And once you've finished or happy with it, we can save it and close it. I've already saved those pictures. And now we can start adding some sounds to our map. Um, there's some default ambient sounds that you can choose here from the right. Choose one of the default ambient sounds and complementing it with some of the other sounds that are here. I've chosen the Asylum as the default ambient sound and then distant artillery, air raid and bombs. Um, you can set the level of the background volume, minimum and maximum level. And what I've done is put the announcer in there. Now, once we have filled all this in, 
you can set up the team setup. Maurice versus German. And the skybox should be the same skybox that you have chosen in Radiant. I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm now going to click Include FX, Include Sound, Include Load Screen, and Include Minimap. Everything is in place. And I want to save these settings first, so I'm going to click Save. This will save all your settings, all your sound settings, effect settings. And now we can create my scripts. I'm not touching the keyboard or mouse. Let the program do its work. It's writing about 20 files now at the moment. And if I now look in the launcher, I suddenly notice <coughs> that there is a map name underscore load. All I have to do now is build fast files for that load FF. And the other thing that we need to do is make our IWD. Now this is going to be created in the mod human 2 directory as well, so I just click create IWD. So with the IWD made in the human mod 2 directory, we can now create our files. We're going to compile the whole level. Fast file, or, or sorry, only fast files, still in human mod 2. Once that's finished, we can now look in the human mod 2 directory and we will find the MP1000FF, the IWD that we just made, and the MP1000LoadFF. What I'm going to do is copy them to our user's computer name. App data local Activision got bullet for users and then your map name I did, uh, your map, map name directory. I'm just gonna copy them in, replace whatever is necessary. Once that's done, all I have to do is run the map after compile. As you can see, the load screen is in place. And you will probably hear the, the sounds. And the minimap is also there. Let's see if we got the smoke on the chimney. And as you can see, the effects are also working. So with this tutorial, well under 10 minutes, you can you can see you can have everything in place, and you've got a fully working map. Um, You can download the program from our website at www.ifasnipers.com. After registration, you will find it under Downloads, and you can always download the latest version for free. I hope that you will enjoy it as much as we did making it. I want to thank the testers at IFA, especially John X-Ring, Bloodletter, Catman, Sonics, Mass36, and Zero for their time and energy push me further. Also I would like to thank Mods Online, Cot Utility and Mappers United for their fantastic support and tutorials. 
Hope to see you on our forum. Bye-bye.